Hi, I'm Mystic Rose and welcome to my channel. So today's pick a card is going to be all about what compliments people give you behind your back. And if you're watching this and you like it, please give me a thumbs up and do be sure to subscribe to my channel if um, you're not a subscriber yet and be sure to turn on that notifications bell too so that you can be notified as soon as I upload new videos and I upload four pick a cards each week so um, yeah and if you're a returning subscriber I just want to say thank you so much for being part of my YouTube family I love you all so much your support and encouragement always just keeps me going and um, I, I just love you all and I love doing what I do. I love reading tarot. So let's get started with today's pick a card though. Um, all about what compliments people give you behind your back. Hi and welcome to my pick a card reading. This reading is all about you and what compliments people are giving you behind your back. So um, if you chose the black cat, you're going to choose pile number one. And if you chose the jack-o-lantern, you're going to choose pile number two. And if you chose the owl, you're going to choose pile number three. And we're using the Light Sears Tarot deck for this. We're using the charms. And I'm also using some channeled messages. All right. It's going to be a lot of fun. So if you need to pause the video at this time to think about which pile you're drawn to, um, you may do that. But if not, let's go ahead and get started. Hi, pile number one. I am so glad that you're here with me. I'm just saging and cleansing the space. So spirit, please be here now to help me as I deliver messages to pile number one about what compliments are being said by others behind their back. All right. So I'm just going to shuffle until I feel that it's time to stop. Spirit will let me know. All right, so spirit, please be here now. What compliments are being given about pile number one behind their back? What compliments are being said behind their back, spirit? Okay. Wow. So right away, I can tell that people are very impressed with how deep you are as a person. You're not the kind of person that is surface level at all. Like you're the kind of person that's very philosophical. You like to go deep and you're not afraid of going into like, you know, the depths of the psyche or even doing shadow work and that kind of thing. Um, I wouldn't say you're a dark person, but you're not afraid of the depths of the human psyche. <clears throat> you're very intuitive. You are psychic. And people are saying this behind your back, how very in touch with your intuition you are. Um, you really impress people. All right. Also, I'm hearing from spirit that people can tell that you're very in touch with your emotions. And um, there are like people who really do... Um, see this as a gift because some people are not as in touch with their emotions as you are but you're very in touch with your emotions oh wow you're also very dreamy people see you as like very intoxicating like attractive here with the lover's card you draw in so many people you have a magnetic personality and there's something about your aura that just draws people to you. I love this for you. People all you also see you as somebody who's planning things like you don't like to sit on your laurels. Okay, you're the kind of person that you like to plan your next thing. You're always thinking in advance, okay? Um, and people are noticing this about you and talking behind your back about this, how you're, 
you're just always the kind of person that has like, you know, something going on. Um, you seem to be, to me, very um, active and very much a planner. We've got the Nine of Cups here. So people are noticing and talking about how abundant you are. So I do think that this has um, been something that you've been working on. Maybe you are a powerful manifester. You're also um, quite a hard worker, but I really do feel like you're really good at manifesting. This could be something with this energy here um, that you've been working on is thinking about the things that you want and then look at you here you're manifesting stuff some people are a little bit jealous of it of you and your your gifts and your abilities to manifest but holy cow you guys are doing something right so pat yourselves on the back for that because you're doing a good job some some people would say that you are the type of person that likes to spend time by yourself to think but they really do um I want to say like respect this about you because you're the kind of person that can say okay i need a time out i need a little bit of time for myself here to think about things um you might say you know i love you but i just need a little bit of space you're the kind of person that can do that you can put up good boundaries with others in order to take good care of yourself so that's really really great so people are also saying about you that you're really you're the kind of person that deserves a lot of respect um with the emperor here this is all about um somebody who's got the kind of respect that they deserve from people i also just noticed this ankh tattoo on his arm and this is a key the egyptians believed it was the key to the afterlife um with that down there below the Queen of Cups, I really do think that people are noticing that you're to be respected in the community, especially in the esoteric field and community. You're being very respected in the field of esoteric knowledge. Um, people really look up to you. You could be a mentor to people um, about how to meditate, how to talk to spirit, um, how to get in touch with your intuition, um, abundancy, manifestation, all these things. You could be a teacher just by your example, or you could literally be somebody who, um, is, who, you know, who is teaching this through classes or just living by example, or even if you're, maybe you're on social media. I don't know. That's for just some of you. Oh my gosh, I just said that and then I drew the star. So yeah, that confirms it that you could very well be in the spotlight. Like you could be a tarot reader yourself or something like that. Maybe you have your own YouTube channel. Um, yeah, drop a comment below and let me know. But whatever you're doing, you're definitely like in a role where people see you as the star and you shine so brightly. Um, if you're not doing that, um, I think this, consider this to be a little nudge from the universe that you have what it takes to do this, okay? To be a tarot reader or to, um, get on some kind of platform and actually talk about what you know and to teach others. Even if you don't really feel comfortable to be in the spotlight and to be like on social media, um, you have what it takes to encourage and inspire others, okay? And people are definitely noticing this and talking about this. We've got the Five of Cups here, which is usually indicative of somebody who kind of has, like, bad luck. But underneath this Two of Wands, I really get the impression that even in the face of adversity, people notice that you're still, like, you're still hopeful, you're still planning, so you don't let things get you down for very long. Um, you know, you don't get forlorn too long. You just, I think what, what goes on in your mind is like, and what people are noticing is that you might feel sad about something or feel bad or despondent for a little bit of time. And then you're back, back on the back in the saddle again, <laughs> as they say, or whatever, you know, like you're ready to move on from it. So that is really good. 
We've got the pen king of pentacles here. You guys are hard workers. So that just confirms for me what I said earlier about this abundancy. I do think that you're powerfully manifesting this abundance, but I also think you guys are hard workers. Um, so you're a good, healthy balance of being very earthy of the earth energy and also very spiritual. You've got the queen of pentacles here. People see you as so nurturing, but also they see you as somebody who is stable. They see you as somebody who's grounded, um, firm and just responsible and somebody they can really rely upon. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got the seven of wands. So I do think that like, see how she's got this protective bubble. I do view, I do think that people view you as people, as like somebody that people cannot harm. Your aura is impenetrable and people cannot mess with you. People cannot harm you through anything. Like if they wish anything bad upon you, it just bounces off. Um, if somebody was to try to like put a bad curse or something like that on you, it would never work. You're very protected and people know this about you. You're not somebody to mess with. Okay. Um, even though you might have some haters, there's, you know, people that secretly are jealous. I'm not going to lie. Like there's some people here that come at you, um, with jealousy, but you're like this, you're a very spiritual person and you're very protected. And know that nothing negative is going to um, touch you. All right, let's see about these channeled messages. All right, spirit, um, please help me be here now as I give these channeled messages to pile number one about um, what compliments people are saying about them behind their back. You have a beautiful complexion, so there's something about your skin that is, like, it makes, I don't know if it's flawless or just, like, very soft skin, but you have a really beautiful complexion. You are more than enough. All right. You're a queen or a king. You're very, you have like royalty um, kind of vibes here with this card coming out. Like, you know your worth and I just see, oh my gosh, I just realized something, you guys. Look at this. She's got a crown above her head and that is the card depicting your overall energy. Look at that. There's a crown above her head. Yeah, you guys are like royalty. You're very blessed. Wow, that is so cool. So I love that for you guys. People think that you're like royalty, that you're so blessed. People might not even think that, you know, they, they might wonder like, how is this person so blessed? How are they so like connected to the divine? Um, people wonder about this about you. But you're very connected. You're very connected to the divine. You have many people who love you. Many people who admire you. And you've got people very curious about the things that you do. People admire that you can have a serious side, but you also can have a childish side where you don't worry about like looking silly or being having fun or whatever. Like... You have this ability, um, even though you are a very mature pe person, you can be as silly as a small child at times if you want to be, because it can bring you a lot of joy. And a lot of people do think that that's cool about you, that you have a serious side, that you're a hard worker, but you also have like this playfulness about you. All right. I'm just hearing like Leo vibes for many, for a lot of you, like even if you are not a Leo, you have like, I'm feeling like Leo vibes from this group. Um, and also a lot of water energy. So Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. All right. Let me know in the comments if any of this from this reading is resonating. All right. We've got the, you have a nice smile card. 
and you are good at lifting up vibrations of a room so when you enter a room people's spirits become lifted you elevate other people just by walking into a room you your smile lights up the room your energy lights up the room you've been very brave so whatever it is that you've gone through maybe that's why you have that got this card too the hermit card because you've had to deal with a lot but you you have found that if you go within your answers are within and you've been very brave in order to get through the things in your life that weren't always that that much fun and it looks like you've been through some difficult things but you've always like stood stood your ground stood up for yourself advocated for yourself you've been brave to do that um you've found your voice that's what spirit is telling me you have found your voice and you can really advocate for yourself and you're telling yourself the truth you are not lying to yourself so people are noticing this about you too and you aren't afraid of change so many people um, value this about you that you are not afraid of change maybe you've been through some changes and you know it didn't you didn't let it knock you down um, you are resilient all right so now I'm gonna cast the charms so spirit um, what compliments do people give pile number one behind their back So people think you're all about peace, harmony, love. Um, you don't like to fight, and people definitely recognize that about you. You give people hope. So whatever you're doing, just know that you're giving people hope and you're an inspiration to many. You could literally be somebody who like um, is attracting a lot of love into your life, or you could be like, a matchmaker type of person maybe there's people that you've set up as a couple because we've got the cupid here i just think you're a really loving person like with this cupid here um i really do just think that people think you're a very loving person full of peace full of hope many people do view you as a shining star that's you there inside of that star you're a star that just goes with the star card so that's just confirmation from spirit so thank you spirit for that you're growing people are noticing that you're growing all of the time um you never seem to stop with your self growth we've got the cactus here which gives life-giving water inside even when things are very dry um, on the outside inside of the cactus is life-giving water so i think that just goes along with the hope and how really much of uh, like a life-saving person you really are because i don't even know if you know this or not but like you you have inspired so many people and you've saved some people from actually like you know wanting to harm themselves you might know this but like i really do sense that for many of you there's been at least one person that has been you know so depressed that they might have wanted to take their own life um and you inspired them to give them some spirituality and to lift them up and you helped this person you might have just smiled at this person on the street and made them feel seen but this is what spirit is telling me many of you save lives you've saved you've helped because of your great ability to uplift people when you enter a room you're like a light you're like a shining light okay you're shining your light everywhere and you're saving lives and you're inspiring people like come on this pile you guys are awesome like i don't know how you could get any better like pile number one you guys are awesome i love your energy 
um, you've really changed, you've really, you know, this is all about metamorphosis, the butterfly here is beautiful, I mean, this is your energy, you have transformative energy, think of the metamorphosis that, metamorphosis that a butterfly goes through, you are somebody who's a transmuter, you transmute negative energy into positive energy, this is very much giving me like Scorpio vibes, but you're also a hard worker here with the squirrel. People see you as that and they really honor and respect you because you are a hard worker. All right. Um, gosh, this has been so wonderful. If you appreciated it, please give me a thumbs up and like this. Um, subscribe to my channel if you, if you haven't yet. And do be sure to leave a comment. I always read those and I like to respond to those as well. Um, I love y'all very much and come back and watch more of my videos. Bye-bye. Hello, pile number two. Welcome. So I'm just going to sage the area. It's good to do that between readings so that you don't pick up the energy of any of the previous readings because that's never good. You want to have a nice clean slate. So today I'm going to be asking Spirit for help in finding out what kind of compliments people are giving you behind your back. What kind of compliments are people giving you behind your back? All right. Spirit, what kind of compliments are people giving pile number two behind their backs? While I'm shuffling, I'm going to let you know that for today's reading, we're going to have charms, um, the light seer's tarot, and also some channeled messages from Spirit. But right away, I'm just sensing that you guys are really in your nature, you're like, I want to say, like, you don't take bullcrap from people. You stand up for yourself. You, you're kind of fighters. Um, you're loving, but you're assertive. You stand up for yourself. And um, other people definitely are noticing this about you, for sure. That you're, you're like, I want to say, like, not scrappy, but you would stand up for yourself if you need to okay so if you chose this yeah jack-o-lantern then this is your definitely your pile you're represented here by the page of pentacles so people are definitely talking about and noticing um and complimenting you behind your back about what a good and hard worker you are and also how very reliable you are as a person you're somebody that other people can really count on. <laughs> You've also got the Knight of Cobb, so people see you as like very romantic, really deep and spiritual and um, dreamy. You're very dreamy. You have a lot of depth about you. You're not afraid to go into the shadow aspects and like delve down deep and into the human psyche and that kind of thing but people see you as very romantic too you're the type of person that makes people feel like wild and free people want to take risks with you and people are definitely thinking good things about you like this behind your back that like you're the kind of person they would love to be with even if you're already with somebody, like, you make other people want to be with you. Um, it's just your aura that you give off. It's not that you're flirty, but, like, you have this aura about you that, um, it's very magnetic and people, like, people want to be with you. They just can't help themselves but think about it with that Knight of Cups there. And you've got the Knight of Pentacles, so... You had the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, I do think people see you. They see how like your work ethic and what a good worker you are. And they're talking about this for sure behind your back. Like 
what a good worker you are, how strong your worth ethic is, how responsible you are, how grounded you are. Um, they see how really affluent you are because you're a hard worker. We got the Eight of Swords here. This is about like ignoring red flags and stuff. Sometimes this is about like not seeing what you what you need to be seeing around you. So in this case, with this kind of a reading, this goes exactly toward what I said in the very beginning, what Spirit was trying to tell me, that you see through, like, you know, you're feisty, you see through people's BS. Um, you definitely would call somebody out if they were trying to either yank your chain or let's say somebody was trying to hurt you you would definitely call them out or just simply walk away. But you would definitely not be the type of person to ignore some red flags. Spirit just, I've just heard this out loud. Like I just heard, I've been there, I've done that before. I've ignored red flags in the past and I'm not gonna do it again. So maybe that's something that um, you've done in the past and you learned from it. But people just, they don't wanna, you know, screw around with your energy because they know that you're the type of person that's going to, like, you're going to defend yourself. You have great boundaries. People see you as being, like, very majestic. They see you as being very mysterious. And here with the High Priestess, people see you as very intuitive. They see you as being somebody who follows your heart, and you're the kind of person who's just spot on with your intuition and you've caught the attention of other people because they're definitely talking about this behind your back what else spirit the four of swords you're not afraid to take a little bit of rest if you need to it's like this here's here's what spirit is telling me spirit is telling me you work hard and you play hard so you know when it's time to rest you're very loving too. This this girl here, she's taken a little break and there's a heart right here. Um, I never really noticed that before, the heart there, but it just makes me realize just like what a loving person you are. Um, even though you've been through some heartbreak or something kind of tough when it comes to matters of the heart, Spirit is saying, but you're still such a loving person. You just don't take bull crap anymore from people. <laughs> But you're still, you're such a loving person. That's what Spirit is saying, that like other people are definitely talking about this behind your back. Like basically people think that you're intuitive, a hard worker, you love people, you're very loving. And a lot of people want to be with you in a romantic way. The sun, you might know somebody who's um, like a Leo who... Actually, maybe your partner is a Leo or something like that, but like the sun can be indicative of a Leo um, person or you could be of that sign. Um, the other signs that are coming through are Earth signs, which is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or water, which is Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. So you could be um, any of these or you could be a Leo or the person who wants to be with you romantically could be a Leo. Or they could just be like the life of the party. Um, because this is like a general reading, it's hard to, for, to really tell, you know what I mean? But like, you know what it is because if you're watching this right now, you know if it applies to you or not. So if you are not a Leo, then somebody who is a Leo um, really admires you and would love to be with you um, in a romantic capacity. Okay? Um, they're a very outgoing person. They're just the life of the per party type of person. They love to party. Um, they also can be very protective of their friends and that kind of thing. But yeah, they're like, Leos are usually not a bit shy. Um, they're really quite confident. And they're very protective. So that's the kind of energy that this person is giving off. The one that, there's like somebody really, really who's talking about you behind your back, but they're talking about you in a romantic way because they want to be with you. Then we've got the Ace of Wands here. 
the the Knight of Pentacles. Um, the Knight of Pentacles coupled with the Ace of Wands tells me that people are talking about your work. They're talking about how you um, might have had some like new job that you took or maybe you you had an advancement but like there's definitely been an opportunity presented to you in the area of your work that people are talking about they're talking about this new promotion or this new this change that you've made in the in the area of work um maybe you are in a leadership position or something like that I don't know. Leave it in the comments, though, if this is resonating with you. With the Ace of Swords, with the Eight of Swords, I really do think that you're the kind of person you don't lie to yourself. You tell yourself the truth and you tell other people the truth. And people really admire this about you and they talk about this behind your back. But they, but it's a compliment because they appreciate that you're very honest and that you're not a bullshitter, okay? You're very honest. You're sometimes you're um you're just blunt but yeah um some people might think you're cold-hearted but you're not you're very intelligent and you cut people out of your life when they're not serving you any longer when they're trying to hurt you or bring you down you will cut them out of your life as a way to protect yourself because you don't want to end up blocked or confused or feeling like you don't know who you can trust so I admire this about you and other people are definitely um, admiring this about you and talking about this behind your back. People think that you have a lot of options because um, they think you're lucky. They think you have a lot of um, either romantic um, options, like you could have your choice of who you want to date because you're very pretty, very beautiful, very handsome or good looking. Um, and you're such a well-rounded person too, that people really do think that you have your choice of like anybody you want to. And some of these people wish you'd consider them as an option, but they see you as having somebody with a lot of choices. Because you're very, very intuitive, very balanced, very attractive extremely like psychic and gifted and loving so loving and caring you have such a warmth about you people are definitely talking about you but all good things people are saying how in balance you are with yourself you're very balanced um you're well balanced between work and play spirituality and things of the earth um you're just very well balanced all right, now I'm going to do these channeled message cards to see if I can tell um, what else people are saying behind your back that is, you know, good and positive things. What are some positive things that people are saying? What are some compliments? You never engage in backbiting or gossip and others can trust you. So that's what people, that's one of the things that people are talking about you behind your back is that they appreciate you, that you never ever backbite or gossip and people can really trust you because it's not like you're going around talking shit about everybody. It's like your faithful friend. Exactly. See, I knew you were because you got this card here and with that little heart there, it just, it just reminded me of like this energy that surrounds you guys like this warmth and this love you know that other people really do trust you and people definitely notice it I'm astonished by your courage and your bravery so other people are very astonished by what you've gone through and how courageous and how brave you really are because maybe you've been through some hard stuff in your life but you're really, you know, you're coming out on the other side and people are seeing you standing there like with happiness around you, like smiling on your smile on your face. You're ready to face the day. You know, it's like this woman here with her arms up, just like dancing. You know, that's you. You're glorious. People can't help but notice this about you. 
you have a very calming presence about you so people definitely love this about you they do talk about this when you're not around um just how loving and calm you know they feel around you because they can trust you they know you're authentic and that if you didn't like something they were doing you would tell them because you're very honest there with that um so ace of swords so people can trust you and they do feel calm around you some would say you saved their life that's interesting because pile one had something like that too so if you were drawn to pile one you might want to um watch that because there's like a similar vibe here that i'm picking up too between pile one and two which is crazy because I, I did sage in between. And so definitely if you were drawn to pile number one, two, um, I would say to watch that because there could be some messages in there for you. But yeah, the fact that you saved somebody's life, um, there's just, this does not surprise me with your energy, with your overall energy. Because you can save a life with just listening to somebody just smiling at them, making them feel seen, making somebody feel heard. Like, you never know when somebody's thinking about taking their own life. But just, you just being that um, beacon of hope, that light for somebody, you know, I think that's amazing. Your energy is so pure. It's so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit just wants to confirm, I love your energy spirit loves your energy so spirit is very proud of you and other people love your energy too and that's why they can't help but say nice things about you behind your back you are a beacon of hope exactly that's what i was just saying like you literally save lives yeah oh my gosh i seriously love your energy guys you're very giving, so you're the kind of person that, like, you don't like to see people suffer. You don't like to see people go without stuff. And in your heart, if you know that if somebody needed something, I know that you would you would probably give it to them. Um, especially if there was, like, a great need and they asked you. I'm sure you would give whatever you could. So, you're very giving. You're very giving not only with, like, material objects, but your time and energy. You give your friends your time, energy, attention, devotion, and that kind of thing. And that kind of thing does not go unnoticed. You're a friend to everyone. So people are talking about how you're just really nice. You don't really have a lot of enemies because it's like the toxic people that you once knew, you've cut them out of your life and you only really want to vibe with people who or a tribe with people you vibe with those who vibe together tribe together and so all of your friends are they've got your back they are positive like you <coughs> but even people that like aren't exactly vibrating as high as you would like them to you're still nice to them like you're nice to everyone Okay, it's not like you're like snooty, like, oh, you're not vibing Hi, I'm not going to talk to you. It's not like that, like, you're nice to everyone and you wish the best for everyone. That's what I love about you. You make people feel genuinely heard and seen. Yes. Thank you, Spirit, for that confirmation. You guys are awesome. You deserve, like, something, like an award or something, accolades for the for the just being a kind human being like it's very rare so let's see what um what else we got oh wow some of you are earth angels i'm just gonna say that some of you i don't know if you maybe knew this maybe you did know this but some of you are actually um earth angels incarnate here um Another thing that comes to my mind is you could be a star seed, so keep that in mind. I've had these charms for a very long time, over a year or more, and I've never pulled this wing out at all, so this is very special, you guys. I didn't even know that was in there, but you guys might be earth angels. Um, yeah. You're very creative. You may not give yourself enough credit, Spirit is telling me, but you're very creative. 
Um, in fact, I'm hearing you could be famous for this. You should be because you're very good. Um, wow. Some of you are painters. Um, you could be good at music too or dance or some kind of art form. But like, look at this. You're very crafty, artsy, crafty, that kind of thing. Yeah. There's an abundancy about you. You're very giving. Transformative, too. With the grapes there, I think of how you take the, the grapes and you transform them into wine. I just think that, the, you, that you're very transformative. You, you have a way of like transforming negative energies into positive energies. You've got this. This is a, an infinity sign. And for me, this tells me that you're like, you're a kind of person you believe in um forever you believe in um, magic you believe in that all things are connected and you have a lot of faith i love that also you're very connected with your inner child so you live with joy and you have this like ability to be joyful that is that other people definitely notice and yeah people are talking definitely about your musical abilities too so you you're a good singer or you play a piano or you play some kind of instrument um it could be in any kind of instrument or maybe you're just you're good as a vocalist but like whatever it is it's just like wow wow people are definitely talking about it they're talking about you and how gifted you are and then We've got this bird here for freedom. You're like the kind of person, you could even be like a Gemini, but like, or G Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but like, you know, you have this like, kind of like energy, like don't tie me down too much. I want to fly, um, like an independence or this love of freedom. Maybe you just love to follow your bliss. That's what spirit is telling me. Like I'm hearing, follow my, follow my bliss. I like to follow my bliss. So yeah, I love this. These, you guys are so cool. Thank you so much for letting me read your energy today. Um, oh, I forgot the handcuffs. With this handcuffs, you guys, this just means that like, um, you, like I said before, like with the handcuffs, usually it means you're chained to some kind of um, negative energy. But you're breaking the chains. I love this because you're breaking the chains. And together with this bird, with the freedom, it's freedom from chains, things that would negatively tie you down. So thank you so much for being here today with me. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe, like, comment, and even share if you think a friend would enjoy this video. And if you need a personal reading, do be sure to check out um, my description box below. Um, and you will find there my information. All you do is um, either make a payment through uh, PayPal or Venmo and then send me an email or the other way around. But um, yeah, all my readings are really, um, I don't want to say cheap, but they're priced at a fair price. Um, I charge $20 per question. So anyways, many blessings to you, pile number two, and thanks again for being here. Bye-bye. Hi, pile number three. If you chose the owl, then this is your pile. And I'm just saging so that I can cleanse the energies in between readings. So spirit, please be here now um, as we find out together um, what kind of compliments are people saying about pile number three behind their back? And I always shuffle until like I get this kind of tingly sensation in my heart chakra and then I know it's time to stop. Oh my goodness, you guys are very intuitive. You guys are very psychic and also you're extremely deep, but like with the high priestess there, that's all about like psychic gifts. 
So people are definitely, you know, talking about you behind your back, but about how psychic you are, how in tune you are with the divine. You're so connected. I love that. You get the tower there. You get the empress. You get the queen of wands. The hermit. The queen of pentacles. The queen of cups. The lovers. The magician. Holy cow. And the devil. Whoa. I have chills, you guys. And the seven of wands. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is crazy. Um, I just want to tell you right away, you guys are freaking magical. You've got the magician here with the queen of wands. You are all about making stuff happen. You could even be a little bit witchy. Maybe you're into um, the manifestation or spell work or something like that. But man, I'm telling you, like, <clears throat> you have good energy about you because you are denoted here by the empress which is all about like empress is somebody who's full of this like creative potential um you're i mean see how the earth is in her her abdomen um people are talking about this how like really abundant you are and how creative you are um your ideas it's like the ideas you come up with they're very like novel and you have this real creative potentiality about you you're also very sexy and attractive and people are definitely you know noticing this about you like people can get swept away you know it's your energy and your your glow and your positivity but also like you're very just sexy like i said and like people they are definitely talking about you behind your back saying how sexy you are i mean you just draw people in they want to get lost in your energy, in your eyes. Oh man, I love that. You've got the devil here. I do think you're a little bit dangerous or people are definitely talking about you, how they feel like you could be a little bit dangerous. Because you know what? Sometimes you spend time alone. Sometimes you're just trying to think about things and you're spending time alone here with the hermit card going within, um, taking a break and that kind of thing. But, like, people see you as definitely um, a little bit dangerous. Like, they don't understand you. Okay, with the devil there, um, yeah. See how he's got his hand out? He's got somebody on a puppet. This is a puppet on his hand. And so, look at that closely. Like, I never noticed that before until right now, but, like, you have the ability to control people in a little bit of a way. It's like, you're not manipulative, but people think, wow, it's something about your gaze. Like, it's something about how you draw people in in a sexual way. Like, you have a way of almost, like, making people do what you want them to do with the magician here and the lovers and the devil i think this is why some people think that you're a little bit dangerous because you're very like charming and people seem to eat out of the palm of your hand okay so if you can relate to that let me know i would love to hear about that in the comments section We've got the Queen of Cups. You could be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. If not, you're just very intuitive and psychic like that. Um, they, the water signs are some of the most um, intuitive signs of the whole entire zodiac. Um, the fact that we've got the tower here with this means that like, you're not afraid to end things when it's over. When it's over, it's over, and people see this about you, and they're like, wow, that person means business. Like, when they end it, they really do end it. They don't go back to, like, see if, you know, like, check out the rubble. Like, when you're done with something, like, I almost want to say, like, <sighs> I'm hearing set that bitch on fire, which is just funny to me, because I usually don't talk like that, but, like, when you are done with something you're just like done with it you don't go back to check on it like once you've made up your mind it's final 
because you follow your heart and you know when you're doing the right thing. You don't like to give people second or third chances to hurt you or hurt your heart. You're very protective of your energy. You're a really hard worker, but you're nurturing to others too. You're very nurturing. You can, you can be relied upon and people are definitely talking about you behind your back and saying what, you know, how reliable you are. Like you're a really good friend. Um, you're really reliable as a friend and also somebody who gives great advice because you're, you give good spiritual advice too, because you go within for answers with the hermit. That's all about going within for answers. Yeah, this is great. And then at the bottom of the deck, we got the seven of wands. So people don't definitely know you're not the type of person to mess around with. Because see how she's very protected by this bubble here. And then you got these haters trying to poke at her with these wands. These like rods or whatever. Staffs. Um, and she's just totally unaffected. She's like, yeah, what? She's like, yeah, what? This is not going to affect me. She's just in her own little bubble. She knows she's super protected. That's you. That's how other people see you. Other people see you as highly protected and no one to mess with because they can't win and they know not to mess with you. So I love that. All right. Now I'm going to cast some. Oh, no, I was going to cast charms, but I was like, I just remembered. I have some channeled message cards I want to share with you. All right. So let's do that first and then we'll cast charms. So, all right, for pile number three, spirit, what compliments are people giving pile number three behind their back? You have a lot of patience and people appreciate that about you. What else, spirit? You've been on a long healing journey and you're doing so well. So people notice people are definitely complimenting you behind your back saying that you've, you've like been on a long healing journey. You know, you've, you've healed your inner demons. You've healed, um, so much of the trauma and so much of your past that you've gone through and you're doing so well. Yeah, with that devil card there, some of you might have battled an addiction of some sort and overcome it, and people are really um, proud of you. Um, it could have been um, as simple as a uh, need to get lost in uh, watching too much TV, or uh, addictions don't have to be just drugs and alcohol um, and, like, smoking and that kind of addiction, but, like... Some of you have overcome addictions. You you learned how to go within and you learned how to overcome things like addictions and stuff. And other people are talking about that for some of you. What else, spirit? You have faced your demons and now you're free. I cannot make this shit up. Thank you, spirit. You have faced your demons. You are free. That's what I basically just said. Spirit is so kind. Spirit is always just coming through, bringing the messages we need to hear, and I appreciate it. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, you guys have faced your inner demons, and now you're free. That is beautiful. So beautiful. You've grown so much as a person. Wow. This growth and expansion is what people are talking about. I don't know why they don't tell you how proud they are of you, but a lot of people are proud of you. They just don't say it. A lot of people look up to you. They think you're somebody really to look up to. You're a friend to everyone. You have many secrets. It's okay to find someone to, t to trust to talk to. So for somebody out there, this message wanted to come through that you got some things on your mind that you want to talk about or you need to talk about with somebody who's trustworthy. So this is just like a, a message from spirit, basically, that it's okay 
to not be perfect, to have to have somebody to talk to about any, anything that's going on in your mind or on your, in your heart. It's okay to find somebody to trust, to th that you can talk to, that you trust, okay? So Spirit just wanted that message to go out there for one of you who's watching, okay? So if that's you, don't feel bad about needing to talk to somebody about, you know, what you're going through because it's hard to bear the weight of um, something that's bothering you alone. You put yourself first, which is good because, you know, I think for many of you, you went through some things where you didn't put yourself first, but you've learned that you have to put yourself first, love yourself, and then you can only then can you love other people truly. Treat yourself. You've got to treat yourself. Spirit wants you to know that you deserve to treat yourself. What else? You have many people who love you, and a lot of people are noticing that, that you're very lovable, very kind. All right, now I'm going to cast some charms. But yeah, it's definitely time to treat yourself because Spirit brought that forward. So take a nice bath, um, have a glass of wine, do whatever you like to do to unwind, okay? Whatever that might be. Oh my gosh, we've got the twins here. Some of you might be twins or be a Gemini or have Gemini in your birth chart. All right. So, 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 okay, this came out upside down. So you could be thinking about like traveling to another country or maybe you are from a different country that's not the USA. It's either that you're, you're, not from USA or because it came up upside down or it could be that you like to travel to other countries it could be too that you like to have a partner who's from a different country and maybe you are either trying to manifest that or bring that towards you with the magician here but yeah there's something about like your love for foreign cultures coming through You've really been working on yourself and, and people are noticing this about you and they're just not saying it, but they see you working on yourself. For some of you, you might have had a weight loss. People are talking about this, like your transformation. Um, you're taking care of your fitness. Um, but yeah, we got these twins here. This has never come out together. Never, never, never. So I really do think you could be a Gemini because the twins are, um, the twins, you know, you've heard of the Gemini twins. Um, the Geminis have like dual nature about them. And that's why this is like really representative, I think, of like, you know, the air signs, especially Gemini. So you could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somewhere in your birth chart. But that's so cool. If you're not, though, then that just means that you're really in touch with your inner child. Like, really, really in touch with your inner child, which is great. And then we've got this anchor, so people really can count on you. You're very grounding. Think about an anchor um, when you're in a boat, so, you, so that you don't drift away. You throw the anchor down. You got the anchor representing you. You really are an anchor to people. Like, you make people feel grounded and safe. This, this tag just says made for you. You guys, somebody who really thinks a lot of you in your circle. Many people actually do. Um, but what this makes me think of is like a friend who really wants to have something um, special with you. This could be like a friend who really wants to have something more with you. Um... I don't know. I'm just seeing somebody who like wears glasses. Uh, somebody, um, it could be different for everybody, but yeah, I'm seeing different people. For some people, I'm seeing like dark hair with glasses. For some, I'm seeing a blonde person. Um, so it's just different, but it could be like a friend who really wants more than just friendship from you. And so they really think highly of you. 
but you could be with somebody so you really you know don't really want to be with this person but this person just idolizes you they think a lot of you or else they want to be like in a romantic you know kind of relationship with you <clears throat> then we've got the hope the hope in reverse so but i don't think it really matters in this type of reading because the hope here just means that like you give people hope just like with this anchor, I think they go together. Like you give people hope and you give people the feeling of being safe. And then we've got the flower here that's in bloom. And it means that you're growing, you're transforming all the time. And people are noticing this about you and definitely talking about this. So this is great. I've really enjoyed this and I hope that you have too. And if you have, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Do be sure to like this video. Please leave me a comment too. I will always respond to those. Um, and yeah. But yeah, if you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for being here. If you would like a personal reading, do be sure to check out my description box below for um, more information on how to um, go about getting a personal reading from me. My prices are very reasonable. Um, so yeah, check that out and do be sure to check out my other videos. And I love you all so much and many, many blessings to you.